Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more Minecraft. So we are back, and before we begin, I got uh, I added some mods on here, a couple of them anyways. Electro suggested. So this one is a feeding trough, and basically you put weed in here. It's probably worse time to do this because they go in like crazy here. Uh, let's put uh, let's put eight in here. <laughs> uh, it's already gone through a stack now. The thing is, this isn't a closed gate. They can walk through here, and they they tend to do that over time. Uh, which is fine, but basically, oh, I can't even see those guys right now. Um, here they are. We, there we go. One, two, and there's one I'm missing. Oh, there we go. Not too shabby. Any. That no, must not have been an Enderman. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so they'll eat it out of here, and then they'll automatically breed, which is really cool. These probably just bred recently. I mean, they got babies on everywhere, right? Uh, another thing we added was this mod that basically they, they get little different uh, buffs on them. Now, I haven't read it or looked into it, but I'm guessing if you take a Strength 2 and a Strength 2 pair and breed them, I'm guessing they'll either be Strength 2 or higher or have a higher chance to be that way. Um, but I haven't gotten into the ins and outs of that, but it's like maybe like slight, you know, br uh, breeding. But anyways, this is basically what a stack of this does. So you can see there's quite a bit, even in the waters there. Don't ask why they like going in the water. They just, maybe that one was thirsty, but you got them all over here. Heck, some are even made it over to the further over there, which is crazy. Remember, I had no cows here. I'd actually go all the way to get the cows. I'd go over here to get them. So, oh. These guys are back. Wee, wee. We suck on the, getting them up in the air as well. There we go. Anyways, uh, so yeah, it's a pretty cool one. And then, like I said, yeah, they're they're over here too. So if we go over here, you got cows here, cows there. I bet you there's cows through the portal. Holy crap, they've gotten even in the back here. They've probably been stupid enough to fall down here, even knowing them. Looks pretty clean, actually. But, you know, cows are cows, right? So, pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, that was those two mods. And I thought uh, they were pretty cool. So, we added them in. And, uh, yeah, gives a little bit more life to the game, right? So, let's go back in here. So, remember, if you don't want to deal with phantoms, um, every, uh, every three days or so, you should have a nap in the game. So, all you have to do is just go into the bed. You know, sit in there. I don't know if you need to really stay in there. I think as far as I know, you're already done kind of thing. Uh, and then just hit leave. But if you want to wait for a few seconds just to make sure it kicks in, you don't actually have to make it turn day. Uh, so that's the, the, the beauty about it. Okay, so I got a bunch of things here, even electronic circuits. And uh, I wanted to look into the oil drill, so I thought, why not? We, uh, we we're having some fun here, so we need a bunch of large motors and things like that. So that's the only downside with this thing. So large pump requires two large motors. And then, yeah, I guess the large pump itself. So this is where your circuits are going to get eaten like crazy. Uh, you might think, oh, you know, it's not too, too shabby, you know, but that's that's not true. You're gonna you're gonna die from the amount of circuits you use. Now I thankfully have a lot. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a large quantity of these. Now I think I saved some dust. I probably wasn't smart. Let's see here. I want some of those batteries. Let's see here. Yeah, these guys right here. So I need silicon dust. I hope I was smart enough to keep uh, a couple stacks of dust. There's one. Oh, that's not quite. Too. I mix them, but I think I already removed them and everything else. That's not a big deal. I, I don't need to have perfect stack amount, I guess. I'm just hoping I had them so I can, you know. But uh, yeah, let's just make 32. That's what we have uh, of the electrum wiring. Yeah. We're going to need more electrum wiring anyway. So let's do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. I might actually just make more then. Uh, so usages. Thank you. And then there you go. That's pretty damn close. I'll say that's good. Okay, so that takes care of that part of it anyways. Uh, for this, we need the machine. Didn't we make a bunch of these recently so I didn't have to do this anymore? 
<laughs> you know what? I have a bunch of steep turbines on here. So I finally did the upgrade. So I, I borrowed these ones, but these guys got their four. And this thing, oh, there's the, the this thing. Was there any more left or did I, uh, I wonder if I could have done more. Let's see here. Is that exactly 64? Yeah, okay, good. Anyways, um, I, I, you know, stole these because I didn't really care about its speed at the time. And I went around and replaced a few. So this can get up to, and this is empty, by the way. Uh, I've taken, I've taken all the bauxite out of here. I've taken, I think, about eight stacks of the antimony out of here. There might have been some other things I've taken a bit out. I think I took a bunch of quartz out as well. Probably like a few stacks at least, maybe eight as well. And then, um... All the lead got processed on top of that. The silver, I've used a lot of the silver. I've used some of the lead already. And that was like, what, 30 plus or so I ended up making of the steel drill. So that wasn't too bad. And it's off for now. But that thing was going like one, two. Like it was moving so fast. And to help with that was basically this array down here. So we got four steam turbines down here. And... um yeah, that puppy was just like flying by and uh, yeah, so that was awesome. So that worked out really well. And of course, now that you have them there, uh, when I when I decide to drill more again, I will have what we need there. So that's awesome. But I didn't just end there. Uh, this whole setup was, you know, getting a bit annoying. So obviously we have our aluminum here. And uh, this was running a lot and uh, or all the time, pretty much. And I was having power issues here. And even when I ran one machine and I ran another one, I had issues. And now I had this one constantly running. So I thought it was time to get some steam upgraded here. So I got three LV steam turbines on top of the one I had there originally. Now, we might have added one for fun together. So it might have just been two more. I'm not quite sure if I remember that back far enough. But uh, either way, that's, that's how it rolls now. Oh, yeah, there was one more mod I added it on here and it's not like i really have a way to show you here because um you know what i'll get you to a destination i want to show you one more mod we added on here you'll like it okay so it was called tree feller or something uh here we can just go to mods tree falling tree and then the other one was called uh, animal feeding trough and not enough breeding. There you go. Anyways, uh, this one I put on kind of on the uh, not so cheap settings. So basically what happens is if you take this out, it st starts pulling down. So it's hard to see here. But uh, basically it's removing the logs up there one by one, including the branches. So you can see there's two branches there. One, two, probably took those out. Yeah, there you go. And so kind of what it does is it shifts the tree downwards. And the other option for those who want the tree to come down instantly, that exists. And it will use up the durability of your tools. And there's all these fine tuning you can do as well. But personally, I thought and felt that was a little cheap. I wanted to keep it a little bit more like vanilla, like where, you know, you still have to, you know, cut it down and take a bit of time. Because if you have the instant knockdown tree thingy, you're just going to make wood and stone tools. You're not going to care about your axe. But in this case, having a really fast axe is going to still you know do you well having a lot of durability on it will make it so you don't need to worry about it as much and i feel like the time and love put into a proper axe would still exist as enchanting it things like that so yeah that's why i went with that idea so hopefully uh, it wasn't a bad idea um anyways let's go ahead and uh, keep going here so yeah and that was my one axe i have i have a bunch of axes that's efficiency four Silk Touch, I'm breaking three. Efficiency three, I'm breaking three. Fortune two. Uh, it's more, I like how it's the example's cold and diamond. Uh, but uh, I don't really care about the that. I just wanted efficiency and uh, probably I'm breaking on it over time. But uh, it's a work in progress, obviously. So cool. Okay, so let's see what else we needed to do here. So we were getting distracted there. So yes, we were making you. Oh, yes, we, we decided, yes. That's what happened. We had too many of those. So I need to make more batteries. The good thing is I have lots of the uh, alloy, as you saw here. So I'll be back here after I make myself a stack of batteries, which honestly isn't really going to take time at all, to be fair. Um, oh, well, it does take time if you don't have all the uh, stuff. I think I made a bunch of tin, actually. Where was that copper? Oh, that was copper. Well, I have a bunch of tin there anyway, so I could do that. Do I have any? Oh, I have some of the wiring. Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Man. So let's grab this tin and my inventory is full. Oh, yeah, that's because we grabbed some stuff. Let's get rid of you. There you go. And 
then yeah, I was going to just flip this off for a minute, but I don't think we really need to. Assembler is the same recipe anyways. Okay, and we just need one plate, which would be in this one. There you go. Okay. So that is a stack of batteries. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, not too shabby to be fair. I might have used a lot of those up too. We still have some. Let's get eight of these to start with. And there you go. Eight of them. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and get you done. So, oh yeah, aluminum plates. So that's enough to do eight of them. There we go. And that's going to be machine cases too. So you're probably going to, I don't know. Oh, it doesn't look like it's used for anything like that. Okay. I wasn't sure. I thought, oh, it might be used for something later on. Uh, what about these guys? Are they, if, if we right click them, they have a, no, I don't think so. But anyways, you got these guys. So you know what? Let's make eight of them. That way I don't have to worry about doing this later. There you go. We're not going to make uh, eight oil drills. So <laughs> I promise. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to get a pipe here, a fluid pipe. And there you go. Bringing your free, uh, bringing freedom to your country. <laughs> uh, that's going to be the best uh, achievement name. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> okay. I'm eating this banana chocolate, dark chocolate thing. I don't know. I shouldn't eat it. I don't like it. And yet I like it. So let's we'll see what we have here. Wow. Apparently freedom comes at a high cost. Oh, oh, damn, son. It's like an actual like drilling rig style. I like that actually. So that is a costly looking thing. Holy crap. And I don't want to do it inside the base either because that's so cool looking. So we're going to go outside the base and we'll have to set up something here um, for it. But uh, I'm definitely going to get have to get it up in the air a bit, huh? Let's go get some blocks for that so I can get it to the right height. I want to, I want to have it in the air. So let's count how many blocks it looks like it might be. Okay, so it looks like it's one, yeah, so one, two, three, four blocks down. So I guess this is a chunk border, was that F3G? Yeah, okay. So what are we looking at here? That's one off in the fence line, and that's on the fence line. That's good. I don't mind it being in the fence line, so let's put it right here. So let's put it right here. I think that was the right one. Two, three, four. There you go. So if we hold this now, that looks right, my friends. That does look right. Okay, so that is that is the size of the oil rig. That is pretty badass. It also means I'm going to have to, you know, put some piping out here, blah, blah, blah. But that's fine. I'm happy with that. I think that'll look pretty cool. And uh, I think it'll be worth it. So let's go and deal with that. So I wouldn't normally deal with all those steel blocks. I was going to dismantle some of the stuff we already have, but I feel like I'm going to use those anyways eventually. So I'm thinking, why not? Let's just like, you know, so let's take all this out. I guess you can't hold down. One of the versions I played with, I think it was GTNH or any I modified version of like that stuff up there. It let you kind of just like, we, you know, I don't need that anymore, but I'm going to put that there anyways. There you go. So, ooh, steel gears. That's always the one that gets you. That's the one always gets you. Okay, so steel, steel. Look at that. Steel gears, you're not going to have anything on me today to... Oh, you definitely have something on me. <laughs> I thought, no, we're, we're good. We don't have to worry. And they pulled that card out. Okay, so what we're going to do here then is we have a lot of materials and we got most of what we need anyways um but i need to get more of you guys made and i might as well get more for the future made where's all my otherness let's say i used to have a lot more steel around here 
how many plates do I have? Let's just get a bunch of things running here then. No, our plates are definitely low. Okay, so I don't think I need a bunch of plates this second because we had a bunch here, right? Um, well, maybe you do. Let's let's do this in the faster compressor then. I was gonna say I might not need them, but I think I might. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Screw it. That's for the plates, anyways, right? So, um, what I need to do is get. Oh crap! Not that one. Oh, it's the compressor that does that, doesn't it? I'm sorry, compressor. I need to redo you. There you go. I need the rings. Okay, so I screwed up with this now. I don't even know what... I uh... oh, will throw them in there. Okay. And then, yeah, I want to get these guys. This is for... Yeah, the rods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get those done. So we can get more rods going here. we got a bunch of tin ones here. Yeah, so I kind of mass, you know, I, it's not really mass crafting, but I do make a whole bunch of them, obviously. Okay, so. Excellent. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of magnet ones here, too. I might have some other stuff ready here. Oh, look at tin plates. Those are always good. I was doing the, the, the annoying one, and I ended up making a bunch of them was the pumps there, so. Okay. I feel like you should have had more by now, but I guess it takes time. Okay, we should be good now. I don't know exactly. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, yes, we're making the this guy here. That's who we're making. There you go. 32 sounds like a good start. Though, how many did I need? I think I needed more than 32 to be 38 of that. Okay, you you might be a good start, but you're not... Uh, not enough, but it's the pieces we have over here anyway, so that's okay. There you go. Who's missing now? Oh, more of the rings at this point. Oh! There we go. Not such a big deal. Okay. 38, 38, 38. Okay. Wow! I see. I, can, I planned for this. I knew exactly what was going on here. And that's the story I'm sticking with. Okay, we got six of the... That's funny. We're just using those casual guys again. Six of you. We don't even use you enough. That's sad. Okay. And don't forget, like always, I'm overdoing this, obviously, right? Like, you don't need as much of uh, the blocks because you're going to fill them in, right? But we do that anyways. We need these, right, for the linking. The trains here. Yeah. That should be enough anyways. Okay, so let's get rid of all you and just put you back in here. Okay, so you got you and you and... Wait. Oh, look at that. Not so clever, are we? What did I say? All this was planned. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Okay, so that makes sense. We're going to go boop, 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 boop. And we're making the foundation here of the oil rig. And then we're just going to keep going here. Hope that wasn't... No, nope, we're going pretty good here. Thought maybe I went one too far, but no, we're doing good. Okay, and then we have you guys going all the way up there. Holy crap. We got one here. We got one here. This might even be part of your whatever. Or maybe they can go all the way down. I don't know. Okay, so you got these guys here. So you got one that goes under it. And then this guy who can go... Yeah, these guys that can go here, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm misreading this. No, you're doing good. And then you got those guys who will hit the floor. And then you got this part. So you're going to go one, two, three, four of these. Yeah, because you need one below. Two... Leave one in there. There you go. And then we're going to do you. And then we're going to do one, two. And then one, two. Now, I don't know if these stop mobs from spawning. Um, they don't say so. They probably do. Um, but you never know. So probably torch it off anyways. So you don't have issues. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and fall our butt down here. Awesome. And these chains are just going to work on their way down as far as I am aware 
Now, these chains, I think, can go sideways and all that, so just keep that in mind. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, 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 that looks, that looks perfect. Okay. So we'll go down here, and we'll continue those chains. There you go. There we go. Awesome. And then we'll finish our legs here. And then we just have that one block to go here, which is this one right here. And I think that's it. Okay. This looks more like a kink sex thing kind of thing, you know, like a... This does not look like a, an oil drill rig thingy mabopper. Oh my. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we need to get... I don't even have ladders. Well, let's get ladders. I guess I don't have any, like, cool ladders or anything, right? Like, we don't have middle ladders. Maybe I can make my own. Make Yeah, there you go. Maybe I'll try making a, a data pack with my own, like, metal ladder later on. Why not? Okay, so, um, let's take, uh, some wood here. Didn't we have, oh, here it is. It's like, didn't we have some? You always get some from cutting down trees these days. So, like, I swear I had some. I don't need that many, but we made that many. Okay. There you go. You don't really need it like that. Oh, you know what? Let's not do it because I can't do it on the other side, so that'll bother me. What the hell? Well, that's the sound effect for punching it? Oh, okay. I got so confused and scared there. Valid. Okay. It's the only time in my life I've felt validated. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, oil processing. So the oil rig is used for a huge multi bonk They can dig crude oil under bedrock using fluid pipes. Yes, it's an oil quarry, basically. Oil processing will give you a ton of byproduct. The structure of the multi bonk is made of steel machines, blah, blah, blah. Contains, you can see, placing the controller. Okay. The hatches can be placed by steel, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. So the hatches can be replaced by the steel machine casings, but be sure to have at least uh an item input fluid output and energy input hatches okay crude oil can be turned into various fuels uh to be used for rubber sheet production okay and okay and this is talking about like diesel and things like that so now we that's done what we need to do is uh, basically turn this puppy on so um yeah we're gonna get this hooked up in here I think what we're going to do is we'll bring it into the base. I don't want to deal with uh, the out there. Um, so I'll bring it in here, and then I'm going to bring it into this section, I think. Oh, this is... I don't think it's going to like that. So let's let's do that now, maybe, then. Actually, you know what? I want a 3x3. Three three. I need water. Look at this. This, is, this was meant to be. I think this was our original uh, fish pond. For a generator, actually, so that's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> okay, so it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm going to come out like this, though. And then we're going to come out like... Yeah, we're going to go in like this, then. It's dark, but yeah, I was going to say, we should come into Home Sweet Home in here. I'm not planning to take it this far in. I'm just cleaning this up. Is that, like... It doesn't feel safe, does it? <laughs> it's like it does not feel right. Anyways, there you go. I'm actually surprised. Oh, I guess I didn't go this low. Well, I'm going low like this. I should have probably done this low anyways, because this would have solved so many of my issues at times. Okay, so uh, we got some torches here. Yay, look at that. Just enough, right? right, right. No, we're just going to go ahead and torch this off anyways. There you go. Okay. Okay, that should work. And then what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to get uh, some stuff set up here. I guess this was, oh, this was my original mine. Okay. 
Okay. Or actually, it might have been my yeah my original one, and then I couldn't find it, and then I made the secondary one. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, that's perfect. So uh, let's make our uh, other uh, stuff, shall we? Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. We'll just put you in there, I guess. Don't need you right now. Put you and you and you here, I guess. That way we can just get rid of you. And which one's smooth stone? There you go. Okay. Let's do those hitches, shall we? So I guess we can start with you guys. Be lazy on that one. Okay, so um, let's see what we're doing here. I know I'm just cleaning up here a bit. Okay. So, um, hatches. So, unfortunately, with hatches, uh, I'm going to do the steel ones probably. Oh, no, 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 no. They got to be LV hatches, right? Uh, well, the, some of it steel, some of it LV, yeah. So, I'm going to actually have to make, in all of this, I actually have to make more uh, steel gears out of this. So, oh, wait, we have some here. So, oh, and I have a bunch on me. Okay. You know what? That's not the issue. It's just we're out of steel plates. Okay. You know what? Let's go to 16. Like I said, I'm going to probably take those down for something eventually, but I'm not, you know, I don't mind remaking for fun here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to type in hatch, obviously, and we're going to do all our LV stuff. Okay, so there you go. So we're going to do steel input item hatch. So that's for, so the reason we have that one is to put your, uh, your drills in there, your oil drills. There you go. And then you're going to need your fluid hatch. So your fluid output hatch here, which is going to be the tank, which we have one in here, actually. So we can use that up, I guess. Just make sure you have it the right order. Fluid output hatch. Perfect. And then you're going to need an LV input hatch. So um, did I make exactly eight of those and use all those up? I did. Oh, no, I really did, didn't I? I was like getting a little cocky. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm perfect. And, you know, everything's, you know, we're just, oh, I want nine. Oh, well. Oh, actually, we're making one here. So at least it'll be like, you know, so LV input hatch. Okay. I'm just doing that to get it down here, but that was stupid. There you go. Okay. So let's figure out how we're doing this. So you're going to have your item input hatch. Okay. So it's up to you where you want this, I guess. I'm going to put this guy right here, I think. So item input hatch is going to be right here. And I don't like where it is, so I'm going to move. What? You can't be there. Isn't that like one of the spots it can be? Maybe it only likes it in the legs. Let's see here. Let's see if it gets mad. Oh, what the? Do you think we have to put it in the other parts? I was hoping it wouldn't be this, because that would be annoying. I don't think so, to be fair. Okay, it might be up top then we have to do it. Okay, let's, let's figure this out, my friends. I did not realize we'd run into this issue. Maybe it wants you to do it, like, in these ones here. The instructions might have been clear. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, you show the green, right? Oh, they're right here. Okay. So we have to do it over here. Okay, so item output hatch is going to be over here. And uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's just hide it there a bit. And um, fluid, I guess. Because we can put them all in one block, which is kind of cool, right? So uh, fluid output can be here. Sure, why not? Usually our outputs are on that side anyway, so there you go. And then our last thing would be this guy here, which we can just put in the middle, I guess. Why not? There you go. I guess this one doesn't really have the... Okay. That should work. Okay. And then we're going to have to string it all into the base. I would like to have some sort of storage for this eventually, too, because if you don't, you're just going to void this, right? So there is a big, huge storage tank you can make. Maybe I can work on that. May it requires a lot more uh, of those uh, steel stuff. Okay, so we want to get this all going here, right? I want to do black, I think, for power, oil, everything. It's just like, this is this. is this. Let's do it this way, right? So I only need two things, but let's do that. Um, I learned that you can make... 
It was coal. Yes, it was coal. Um, do I really care enough to do that again? Is it coal dust? I accidentally made, and I thought it was kind of cool, so I thought I'd share this for you to let you know. Um, I thought it was coal, but yes, it is. Oh, in the mixer. Yes, so you put uh, coal dust in the mixer, you will get dye, and all you need is water. So, um, hi, mixer. You're very messy today. Oh, gosh. There you go. I guess like time to remove all these restraints off of here. There you go. They're good to have the locks in there if your recipes are like there's too much going on and, you know, it will clog up and put the wrong thing in there. Definitely, definitely worth that. But uh, outside that, I wouldn't worry too much. So I'm thinking, yeah, storing it in a tank might be an important one. So that's in the book. Um, do, 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 do. So large tank. So here it is, large tank. So yay, lots of glass. A large tank is a multi-block allows you to store large amounts of fluids. Example steam, it can store 64 buckets worth of fluids every block in the structure, including sides. You only see a preview of the smallest shape, but you add layers on, on the top, the back, and the sides of the tank. The front must remain horizontal symmetrically. Only pieces may access the tank. Only pipes may access through the controller. Don't break the controller or you'll lose all the stored fluids. Okay. So that's pretty simple. So uh, here's your black dye anyways. I thought that was kind of cool. So we're going to need uh, what? One, two, three, four. I don't think we need that many, but we're going that way. There you go. So we got you guys and then our black dye. One, two, three, four. There you go. So we'll start with you guys. Start with you guys. There you go. We'll start with those first, and then if we need more, we can get more. So this is for our oil adventures. Now I should have. Now I think about it. I should have put the uh, one two together because it just it makes more sense to have these two together, really. So I'm gonna rechange this around. I think. Also, aren't you supposed to? You were working, right? Like, didn't look right at all to me. I know, looks are in. Okay, let's try this again and see what happens here. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm wondering if I screwed something up then because it should have cleaned it up, but it wasn't cleaning it up. Oh, there it goes. Oh, did I screw something up then or was it just being a butt? I don't know, it could have been just been being a butt. Okay. So let's go down below here, and we need a wrench for this. So we're going to make sure we go like this. Crap. Ow. Not doing a good job at this part. There you go, and there you go. I don't think that one matters. Okay, so, oh, L energy. I did item, didn't I? <laughs> oh, well, now we have an item pipe version. Uh, not that I needed a black uh, item pipes, but hey, we have them for later. I just realized in the end there, I was like, uh, you, you screwed up somewhere, I think. I had a feeling, but I wasn't sure. Okay, here we go. So, we same idea here. Oh. What? Oh, right. You can't change ki colors of pipes because they're always, or, uh, yeah, because it doesn't matter. Um, even though you have different power systems, I think, I guess the cables wouldn't mix, but yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So which one's the power? This is the power. So we're going to bring you down. Cool. And then, or actually, you know what? Screw you. Sorry. I decided last second again to change this out. So we're going to go like this. There you go. We're going to go over here. There you go. And then we're going to go all the way down. And I'm going to do the one at a time here because I think it's just easier for me. Okay, so we're going to have you go here. There you go. So we're going to go and bring this all the way over here. There you go. The good news is it doesn't have to go too far here. Because the power system is right over here, right? Yeah, right here. So we just bring that to our power system. We're good. Oh, good. Look at that. I can do it on the roof here. I was wondering if I could. 
Okay, so let's bring this over here. And let's bring this down over here. Is this the right one or one over too many? One over too many. Okay. There you go. There we have it. So that should be powering it on. Now remember this requires a drill, blah, blah, blah. So this isn't going to be running or active yet. Oh, crap. We have a problem right there, don't we? There you go. Okay. As long as we see energy in there and we see energy up here, I think you need to see it. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, and then we have our fluid pipe here. So this one should connect just fine, I think, yeah. We just have, it's a little bit of finicky here, obviously, but yeah, as long as we get it, we should be fine. Okay. And I can use the wall for this one too. As long as it's empty, you don't have to worry about always like reconnecting it over and over and over. Because that's honestly a pain in the ass. Okay. So that is pretty much working. Now what we need to do is get some sort of storage system going. Which is going to be those tanks. So let's look that up right now. So I believe what it uses is, once again, more steel machine casings. And then I think it has its own special thingy of opera. So let's add you two here. And then let's just add tank on here as well. I think it's called large tank. Yeah, you're going to need a bunch of those for it too, for the large tank, I guess. Or no, maybe it's just the one. Yeah. Okay. So we need some pumps. Let's do that first. A couple pumps. I don't know if we have. We use so many of those. I don't even know if we have any. Oh, we do still. Okay. You guys are supposed to be over here, though. Trying to keep things semi-organized now. Okay, and we got lots of you. Well, we don't actually have a lot because we're going to probably need more. They're in here, right? Yeah, so we have the machine casings here. Okay, oh yeah, we need the glass here. So we're going to need quite a bit of glass for this build as well, but we do have that. So one, two, three, four. Okay. There you have it. Okay. There you have it. So this thing, I was thinking of putting it in this room, which I think is kind of fitting or appropriate. This thing can be, yeah, so I don't want to make a massive one, but uh, let's, let's say one, two, three, four, five, I guess. So if we do it right here, that should be good. That should be good, I guess. So it goes in the ground a bit and then in the air. So we have one, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, so I like how I build stuff like that. That's been the good news, I think. Okay, so if we go like this, there we go. So that torch is not allowed to be there, obviously. Well, if we're going to put it in here, oh, we'll leave it for now. I don't know if I'll do the big one yet, but uh, there you go. So you're going to have to fill in all that steel, and then you're going to have to make a whole bunch more steel. So let's, let's do it for this size for now, and then, yeah, we're out of steel. I want to cambalize that, but I don't want to. I'm too lazy to also do it. Like, I just, I, I want to keep it for now. I honestly won't be using it. It's way better to use our new setup and all that crap, but it's just at the same time. It's like, that's so pretty. I don't want to ruin it. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, we're out of those completely. I thought I had some more. Oh, yeah, you do have some more. There you go. I was like, eh. There you go. We'll go with that many here. Might not be enough, but it'll get us started. Okay, I got the idea. So, and you're on the top here, right? Yeah, okay. So this is like this. Look at that, okay. And then we're gonna put glass in the bottom here and on the sides and then the top. And then for to expand it, um, all you have to do is basically you, you just increase it so you can go out more. So I do a five by five maybe later on. So up top. You know all that more but yeah there you go so it holds 1728 buckets worth of fluid so that's that's not bad um now you have to use it says to use this controller so that's kind of a bit of a unique one there i guess we just go like that yeah that works and then we're just going to bring this down so we're just going to meet the one we have over here already 
There it is. Meet meet the pipeline. Okay, that looks correct to me, honestly. The only downside, and this is a big like, argh, there's no like facades or any kind of you know blocks to hide the piping in. So because there's no facades or uh, any kind of covers, you kind of uh, can't hide the pipe for look wise. So it's just like a little ugly, but this has to stick out in the front like that as well. So I can change underneath here later on anyways, make it a little bit more pretty. But uh, for now, that's just that's just what she write, wrote, right? So um, let's go in and make ourselves a drill now because I'd like to get this. I want to get this done. Hey, guys, I'm eating you. I don't seem to care that I'm eating steaks in the game. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's let's clean this up again. And so we have the we have tons of drills, right? So we need uh it's for oil. I just don't know which one is used for oil, or is there multiple usage ones? Oh, oil one is okay, crude oil. It's uh aluminium. So the aluminium one here is iron, okay, iron gears. I wasn't planning to make a bunch of these, to be fair, but whatever. I might make four. I mean, it's just more to get her just to try it out, right? Whatever. Okay. Um, if we sit there, we're going to spend too much time wasted there. Um, so we'll see what we got anyways. Okay, so we got those. We got that. You need an item one, or is that the... Oh, well, that's the electrum cable. There we go. Okay. And then we need some pumps. We got the pumps in here. There we go. And then I think we have the, oh, and then we need the circuits. But we can't have one electronic circuit left after all of that. Really? Apparently that's all we have left. Oh, it's because I made all those machine cases, right? No, no, no. Yeah, oh, yeah, they require it. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay, whatever. I guess we're making one. I'll make more off camera, I guess. Um, big deal there. Okay, and then we need these guys, which I have, I think, most of this ready to go, actually. That's the beauty of this part, is I think we do have most of this ready to go. Oh, except we don't have gears made up, do we? <laughs> I lied. We don't have most of this made up. It's like you don't have the main component. Let's do a whole stack of gears. And then I need plates. I thought I had more plates than this, but whatever. Wait. I'm, I'm fine with that. Oh, because we used all the little bits. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Okay. Well, that works out for us anyways. Okay. There you go. I'll make uh, more off camera anyways, but this is good enough because we're going to be able to. Oh, did I get rid of the drills before or these guys? Yeah, there you go. We'll be able to sample it anyway. So now what's the break chance? I think this is higher. No, it's 1%. Okay. So in a sense, I mean, this should get you 50 buckets worth. And then we got, you know, a lot of buckets worth uh, stuff there. So there we have it. Now, this is on the... Oh, yeah, it is on the power down there. What power is running that? Oh, that's for the other quarry. Oh, this is even better. So because we're not running that quarry right now, um, this can actually go to the full efficiency. Uh, I can guarantee you before it hits the 128 efficiency, though, more likely this will break. I mean, it's a 1% chance, but, you know, I'm not usually that lucky anyway. So for that, um, my oil pump. Oh, okay. Something's not working here. What's going on here? It should have auto output, I guess. Oh, oh, that's why I see it now. Um, I need to fix that, but I can't get over here to do that. And if you're not careful, it'll start voiding it, by the way. So we need to go out. There we go. Is that it? Okay, we're good. Yeah, because once this fills up, it voids it. So cool. And we have crude oil. There you have it. Okay. And this will go over here, which obviously goes to our tank, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's check it out. And uh, that's it. So I'll let that run. I'll get some more pieces made, of course, because I want to stockpile that. And then uh, next episode, I guess we'll probably look into making a distillery and refineries and things like that, right, to refine the uh, the crude oil. But uh, there we go. So we've gotten four buckets worth so far. 
4.5. There you have it. Pretty awesome. You can even see it has, uh, I mean, it's a little bit in there, so it'll grow over time, but they even show the little texture of it, so that's pretty cool. So that's it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.